and then there's a wrong opinion like uh, if we go out without any dressing up, someone will look at you, you like, oh my god, they, you are so, you look not terrible, you look so terrible today, <laughs> like that. So that opinion is like we care about what they think about ourselves. So do you think so? Like, do you care about what other, what other, other, people, other, people, other people think about you? Ah, other people think about themselves. Yeah. 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 Why do we do care? You don't care. Everyone no, cares. No, no. Yeah. Everyone cares. Yeah, everyone like, cares. Trained, like, society, like, many times they say, like, you shouldn't care, like, what other people think. You should care, like, it should be important to yourself. Like, don't change yourself. But really, honestly, everyone is like that. They care what people think. Like, when they do something, it, not just fashion or for girls, makeup, but say if someone does something, like, embarrassing in public, they're embarrassed, their face turns red because they care what people think. Yeah, so the question is how much you care about what people think about you. Yeah. So, what do you think about it, you guys? I, I care it, but not too much. So, mm -hmm. uh, I, I go outside, and, uh, um, no, <laughs> no, not, uh, not, <laughs> not, up? not, not so dress up. Uh -huh. Oh, like yeah. simple style? Yeah, yeah oh, simple style, yeah. but it's okay. But I can go to uh, outside in pajama. But in other countries you can see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but only in that. America can see that. Yeah. So like during in normal public, we won't go outside in like pajamas. Like maybe not a shirt, but like I have done it before at my college, my university. Like uh, since we know all the students in our class, mm. then they know what you look like. I mean, we know all the other students. So sometimes, like especially, I guess maybe for girls, like in makeup. If they wake up late, then they're just lazy. They don't want to put on the makeup. But for me, also sometimes, like if I wake up late or I'm really tired that day, and I only have like one class, then I just go in my pajama pants, <laughs> and then I like I wear like a shirt like this and pajama pants, and I go to class and then come back. Uh, <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody, because some people do that. Like actually, some people did it in when I was in high school. Some people did it sometimes. I was too embarrassed in high school. I didn't do it. But did your parents ever tell you like, do not go out in pajamas, never? Well, when I went to college, to university, I didn't live with yeah. my parents, so they couldn't tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was in high school, if I tried to do that, I think my dad would probably say something. Mm -hmm. He would probably say, no, go, come back inside and change. What about clothes like jerseys, for example? Did anyone wear it outside? If I go to yeah. a communist near my house, yeah. uh, I go to with my pajama or uh, yeah. jersey because uh, the uh, acquaintance of me don't look me. Uh -huh. But uh, if they are uh, friend or acquaintance, I do I dress up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What about Sewa? You go to the university? Yes, on my college. Is Have you ever gone there in your pajama? <laughs> no, I never. <laughs> it's, really it's really comfortable. All some people wear the pajama, but my college is like a fashion show, always. Uh, oh. Even uh, people who come in my college is so perfect. Everyone is so perfect. Everyone put makeup. Always perfect. I I don't like. I don't want to dress up perfectly. Yes. Oh, you look perfect. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something I always wonder. Why when I see Japanese people traveling, they have to do that in groups? First, I thought, oh, it must be because of the language. The language is quite unique. But still, they don't do much. You know, backpacking. I s I have met some Japanese people who do backpacking, but they still do that in groups. So I was wondering <laughs> why why you don't like traveling by yourself? Why is it like the stereotypic image of Japanese tourists always in a group, like ten people, seven people? Yeah. So I was wondering why. Is it because you hate traveling by yourself? Is it because you prefer to be with your friends? Can you tell me more about that, please? Why do you like traveling groups so much? <laughs> <Or culture>. uh, <laughs> individualism and uh, um, what is the opposite word? 
Individualism and collective. 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 Collectivism. Yeah, collectivism. Yeah, that's why. Right. So, Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. Have you ever seen Chinese tourists? They all, they all wear same T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in Japan or somewhere abroad by yourself? For tourism? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go, Mai? By yourself? Uh, I have traveling like I travel many other countries by myself. Mm. Um, okay. Sometimes I visit my friends, but normally I travel by myself. And I just bought ticket, try ticket, mm -hmm. yes. then I find out that place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. you realize that not too many people do that here? Yeah, because in, in all over the world, there is a Japanese, Japanese hostel. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I met many Japanese travelers, backpackers, mm -hmm. but they, they travel backpackers, uh, but they stay in Japanese hostel. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't like it, so I stay, I, I stay in another hostel. Yes. Mm -hmm. I met Japanese people. Mm -hmm. and good to good to meet Japanese in other country. Mm -hmm. But I I enjoy communicate with local people or other yeah. travel. Mm -hmm. That is nice. So. But I I guess Japanese people have no confidence to speak English or other other language. language. Mm -hmm. That's why they they mm -hmm. want to travel. Oh. For me, I now traveling alone, like, well, I live in Japan alone, but uh, just traveling alone for me, that's kind of scary. Oh. Like, <laughs> it's kind of lonely. So like, maybe I could, like, I could do backpacking, but I would prefer like just maybe like at least like one other friend, like just like two people going together. Um, so like, cause my girlfriend. She's Japanese and she traveled alone to Europe and she went to so many countries mm -hmm. and I didn't understand like how she could do that. <laughs> 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 well, I think it's easy because if I travel alone, because I'm women, so everyone help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good dentist. But you were talking about like, uh, where's my ch uh, Japanese traveling in groups, and you said like Chinese like wearing the same T-shirts. There's a stereotype, and everybody knows stereotype, right? So like, there's a stereotype in America for Japanese tourists. Like, yes. if, if you see like a group like of, like you see a group of Asians that look like tourists far away, like they won't be in the country because no one travels to the country to tour much. So it's usually like in big cities or somewhere. And you see a group of Asian tourists, you can't see closely to tell really well if they're Japanese or not but they're traveling in just a group together, and there's one other thing, they have cameras. Mm. Big ones. <laughs> <laughs> every single person has a camera. And, and they, take that, pictures that's, that's of a stereotype. everything. That oh, yeah. like, they travel in groups and take pictures of everything. Yeah. <laughs> because we make very good cameras. <laughs> <laughs> that's true too. Yeah, you guys cannot make that. <laughs> No, uh, for me, American people take a lot of pictures. I always, take, always bring that small camera. But yeah, more to themselves, right? Self, uh, yeah, self, self yeah. portraits and that. Wow, I see. That's but individualism. <laughs> 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 well, I don't like. I think when people Americans take a lot of pictures, I just imagine like whenever they go somewhere, they just take a lot of pictures of their friends, and maybe they might take some of the scenery. Uh, for me personally, I'm always lazy, and sometimes I will take pictures, but usually I forget. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, when I see like American tourists, they're usually taking pictures, but you know, like they, yeah. like always, they have to appear. Yeah. It's not about the yeah, scenery; yeah. it's more about yeah. they being there. Yeah, like to show, like, oh yeah, we were here. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. They, post, and they post that on Facebook. Exactly. I, like, yeah. I, like, I have still 
500 photos to the first photo post. Yeah, yeah. Japanese people tend to care about scenery more, mm -hmm. not about yourself on the picture with something at the background, <laughs> just this something, the view, what they see. Yeah. 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 Something interesting also Japanese like uh, taking picture of food. Yeah. 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 Look at Chinese paintings. Yes. Humans are always so tiny. Yeah. Uh -huh. Always scenery. But uh -huh. in Europe paintings, the main main thing uh, yeah. is always yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I know. I know. It's, it's also us. about taking pictures. Mm -hmm. If Japanese person is taking picture, maybe not only Japanese, usually if there's some building, the person goes to the building <laughs> and I'm here taking a picture. So we see a huge building and a person. And you can't see them directly. And we can't really see who's standing. <laughs> yeah, but for us, it's like I'm standing here, so I'm on the main plan of the picture and then th there's the background. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a culture difference. Yes. Well, traditionally, it's different. Yeah. Yeah, I think.